Oh my word. It doesn't matter that I eat it from there. Went straight. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome down to this Four Club Challenge at this amazing looking golf course. I have only hit one shot, but I'm guessing by the view so far, it's gonna be immense. I'm gonna be doing a nine hole challenge with a brand which I've not really reviewed any of their irons before. I've never really felt that excited about them, that connected to the possibility that they might go in my bag, but that is gonna change. These are the Apex Pro from Callaway and stay tuned to the end of the video because I really think these have a chance of going in the bag. Also get down into the comments below. Let me know what you think I'm gonna shoot. I've got a driving iron, I've got a four iron, a seven iron and a wedge. I'm gonna be using my putter on the green because I'm not gonna disrespect the beautiful Dumbarney links. I almost toe shanked it off the first, but I got it down <laughs> into the fairway. 203 yards off a fairway, which looks like a green. I've got the four iron here, and I'm gonna be talking about these irons, also gonna be heading back into the studio to get the data. They do look great. A little bit back in stance, fall up on my feet, draw it around into this green. I'm not being funny, how good did that sound? I have witnesses. How good did that sound? Pretty damn good. Decent, pretty damn good. I missed the green, we'll ignore that. We're also gonna be talking about if these don't go in my bag, are they actually suitable for a wider variety of player rather than just the better ball strikers? Which I'm counting myself in, <laughs> thank you. But I think these can appeal to actually a much wider audience. If I am off the green, I am gonna use like a little chip and run, big left to right. Off the ground. Oh. Distance control with these irons. It's amazing. <laughs> Just love it here. Just love it here. Love life. Love these irons. Love this putter. Love you guys. Love you guys. Just a lot of love today. A lot of love. A lot of love. 515 yards the second hole, bang into the teeth of the wind. A perfect excuse to get this driving iron out. 18 degrees and I'm gonna say this from the outset, this won't be going in the back. So this is the outlier of today. Not based on that first shot, just based on the fact I think there are better looking driving irons out there. It's got quite a thick top line and I just don't like it when the arse end kind of sticks out a little bit more. I think this calls for a stinger. What a great looking course. <laughs> Ah, time to be alive, right. As I was saying, I think that out of all the clubs I'm testing today, this probably has the best chance of going in the bag. 2-5-3 off a down slope. This could look great if I get this. Ugh. Carry, carry. Oh, 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 wow. Yeah, I've just left myself left of the green. Great angle in. The reason why I'm quite excited about these irons is I've not really done much Callaway iron reviewing in the past. They've never really excited me too much, but I think that's mostly down to my own bias. When I think of an iron, I'm like, okay, Japanese blade. Whoa. Oh, never like Callaway. And these aren't a blade, they're a muscle back, but from a shaping standpoint, they're not perfect. Just as Margot Robbie isn't perfect. It's close, it's close. Or The Rock, <laughs> it's close, just needs hair. I'm basically gonna have to chip this to where you're standing here <laughs> and then let it, let it dribble down. I've only got a wedge. I always recommend if you do have the option of doing like a four club challenge or something, it's, it is really good because it 
causes you to think about shots a lot more. And normally this would just be a lob wedge up in the air, but. Wow. How's that looking? Stop it, hey, stop it. Call that a chip and a run. Sorry, dad jokes, dad jokes come out of Scotland. Birdie. <sighs> oh, I love golf. Oh, I love life. That's only 340 this one in a, another dimension. I'll be hitting a driver, but it's a four iron. This is a four club challenge. I do not have a driver. And frankly, with these in front of me, I don't need to. But they've got a little bit of behind them. It's a multi-piece construction, but they just look from the top very pure, very simple. Ooh, sit down, sit down. Yeah, it's okay. It's in the left down rough. That was a, it's just a bad, bad thought process. Let it ride the wind. Let it ride this 30 mile an hour wind into the rough. Makes sense, doesn't it? So 91 yards, pulled it. Do have a line to the pin. It's just like a tiny half swing with this wedge. So they are quite a powerful club. Let's hold it into the wind a touch. Ooh, stay there. A little bit pulley. Just a little bit pulley. Again, felt above average. What a line, what a good line that was. Ah, oh, I just needed it in, oh, coming two under. Two under on a four club challenge. That did all right. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna head back to the studio, get some data on these irons, some of the very best things about them. And I would say the one tiny, teeny, incy detail that I just, it's the only barrier between them going in the bag, the only one. That's probably not a bad one to start on that because that was very, very toey, and yet it's managed to cover the distance at 180 with a seven iron. So it's a hollow headed construction. From the seven iron to the four iron, it has a flash face. So basically Callaway over the last few years have invested a lot of time in supercomputers, artificial intelligence. They've asked it a question, said, design me the best driver face. And that's come back with Callaway's best version of a face. And they've also done it with these irons from seven to three iron. How much of a difference that makes, I don't know. But what Callaway for me have done very well in this club is it's a forged construction. It's got tungsten weighting to control flight, but within the hollow headed construction, it's also got urethane, urethane, urethane microspheres, which basically means they've just filled it with stuff. You know, TaylorMade do this, PXG do this, Ping do this, all the big manufacturers, when they have a hollow headed construction and they want to give it a little bit more feel and not just get that ping off the club face, they cram the club head full of stuff to make it a little bit more dense feeling. Pulley. And one of the reasons why I really like this club is I think Callaway have probably done one of the best jobs at that. And the reason that's important if you are thinking of getting an iron like this is it's a forged iron, which looks pretty good, slightly more offset than I personally would like, but then it also offers a little bit more forgiveness that you wouldn't get from a traditional blade or muscle bag. With these irons, there is a slight trade-off that the ball is gonna be launching very high. The lofts are relatively low for a club which is aimed at the better players. So it's gonna be launching high. It's gonna have a steep descent angle. That's what's gonna be stopping the ball. But it feels great. It feels really good. It's not quite the same compressive thuddy feeling that I get from my Mizuno. So it doesn't feel like a purely forged club, but of course it's very hard to do that if it is a hollow headed construction. That's the one for me, which to be honest, I think I like the most because that was a it's a terrible swing, terrible shot. I mean, it was quite healy. It was a tiny bit fat and it still covered the distance really well. It should be worth noting as well, these irons aren't specced up for me. It's a stiff shaft. 
I also want my irons a little bit flatter, but I have got now a Callaway fitting kit, so I might be able to test out in the next few weeks. Yeah, because they are just going slightly left on me. That launch though, straight up in the air. So overall, yeah, pretty impressed to be honest. So if you are looking for that combo of distance forgiveness, but also in a package that actually looks quite nice, these will be a good option. But there are quite a few different manufacturers now in this space and also doing a really good job. It's certainly gonna be an interesting battleground within the next few years. Well, I've been having a shocker since you left. Double bogey, then a bogey to two over. <laughs> However, it's a par five, five, four, two downwind. I think the, I mean, from the studio and something again, which I do notice on the course, it is just that offset. It's slight, it's not big at all, but to my eye, it's not perfect. And I think with irons, it's, you know, you shouldn't settle. Oh. Listen, I'm going to keep this short. It's going to pain me to say. I'm laying up. <gasps> sorry, everybody. It's 290. I'm so sorry. Let's make them proud with the birdie. Come on. Lay up more often. It's the best strike of the day, though. <laughs> Uh, 85, but I've got to pitch it like 75, which is slightly awkward. Let's get that provisional up there. Stop there. As you as you can see, I'm on a uh, on a slight down slope. <laughs> All right, just a flick front of the green, just that wedge. Still two over. Come on, let's get it back to one. Go in. Oh. <laughs> oh well i mean listen it, it 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 felt like it had a bit of spin on but listen my general rule for life actually for everything if you hit the pin that's good it's actually left me a really awkward put so it's coming over a shoulder right to left and then down the hill second half of the put Ugh, a bit awkward that but i've got the line do i have the pace and the courage to see it through oh wow I've got a real issue at the moment a tentative puts like not giving it enough pace i don't i don't really know why i've not played at any uh kind of courses recently with like ridiculously fast greens so no real excuses ah Still relatively solid from that distance though. Two over. Now from what I understand and from just speaking to general golfers, there doesn't seem to be a lot of people who really give these irons much of a go. So I've seen some reviews on YouTube obviously, but I don't know, they just seem to have slipped under the radar a little bit. The best comparison I can give them is probably the TaylorMade P790s. So they've been out a few years now and generally, like a lot of people consider those probably the best distance to looking irons out there. Now I think these look a little bit better and they definitely feel better. And that's why I'm like really keen on them. It's like effortless distance, great feel, just that tiny offset. That's literally the only issue. Just noticed this hole by the way. 
153 yards apparently. A little bit downwind or into. Coffee at lunchtime is worn off. It's a little bit down and into. I suppose downhill and into. Yeah, that works, that works, that works. Yeah. Oh, wind's just pushing it a touch. Yeah, it's okay, centre of the green. Slightly toey, but it does sound very different. Like for a forged iron, it feels great, but it sounds like really strong is the best way I can describe it. Like it doesn't, it doesn't sound fizzy, it doesn't sound dead. It sounds like really, uh, it sounds really alive. It live, lively off the face. Like it doesn't actually feel alive. Just stop recording and I'll, I'll shut up. All right, put a little bit left to right up the hill. Might actually go a little bit right to left at the end. Turn back, turn back. Well, just past the hole. I'm happy with that. Well, you know, mi mildly, mildly satisfied. At least it got there. Another par, one hole to go, currently two over. Let's get it back to one, even though I've no idea what the next hole is. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that Twitter account, The Weekend. <laughs> Last hole, it is. 422 yards down the hill and in the background. The first of the fourth, ladies and gentlemen. Slapping majestically against the east coast of Scotland. It's got to be, well, it's got to be millions of years, like for millions of years. And this course, it looks like it's been here for millions of years. It's been here for a year, one year. These irons, been in my bag for nine holes. <laughs> Oh, what a day, what a game. Four iron, fade, up into the wind, it's 180. Really like the look of this shot. Go on then, go on, kick in, feed in. Oh, it's on the green, I don't know why, I was expecting like a, like some kind of shoot off to the right then. Listen, I'm not, I'm not complaining. But, uh, right, okay. So, got to get it up to that slope and it's going to trickle down to the right. Quite a few of these on these greens where you just got to get them to the slope and then let it feed. Oh, it wasn't far away. Just needed a, like a foot more of pace and it had just crested. It just got to here and then just took the slope that way. If it had just carried on, got to there. Ah, that'd be really nice. There are two over, which the amount of irons that I had off the backs, 7,000 yards from the backs of this course, there's a bit of a few forward tees in all fairness, but two over would be a good score. And as I read this put, the question is, are these clubs going to go in my bag? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. They're this far away. They're this far away. It's just that slight offset that for some reason I just don't quite like the look of. It's tiny, it's insignificant, but like if you're gonna change your irons out of a Mizuno, you know, an iron which I still think is probably the best. I think you just need to make sure it's absolutely perfect. And these irons are close. And for someone who is struggling with a little bit more of a right shot, they could be perfect. But for me, just not quite, just not quite. 